Hey, Miles here, milesbecker.com. In this video, you're gonna learn how to add a pop-up on your blog on WordPress using Thrive Themes so you can grow your email list. Now, this is one of the most valuable conversion mechanisms that you can use as a content marketer, especially when you're getting that content on your WordPress blog. So even if you're running a podcast and you're doing the episodes as a blog post, or if you're doing the YouTube game and then you're having all of your content trent and essentially edited and added to your blog, this is going to be one of the best ways for you to grow your email list. So we're gonna look at what it is, how it works, why it works. I'm going to give you a couple of examples of how it's working for my wife and I, and then I'll show you exactly step-by-step step how to get it all set up so you can get one of these running. And no, these work for all kinds of content overlays. There's welcome gates, there's fly-ins, there's, there's widgets, but I generally use just the pop-up and you'll see exactly how, when, and where you're able to choose the different types of them. I'll even go ahead and give you a little insight as to how you can split test them as well. So let's jump right in and get started. The first thing I want to really share with you is is the why. Why is this important? So you can see I've got a search phrase here saying six figure membership funnel, and I'm going to search this. Let's think about this from your user behavior. You can see right here that my content shows up first. You've got my blog post, my video, even my Pinterest pin, just to show you our Pinterest does work for SEO. But what happens is humans will search Google to answer their questions. When they find a search result, they click on it, and then they load your blog post when you show up because you're doing all the great SEO stuff we talked about. Now you can see I'm actually logged in already. So what happens is we get a pop-up that locks the screen. Now, this is one of the most effective tools for growing your list because here I've been able to create a piece of information that theoretically is going to be relevant to someone who's searching. The individual searched how to build a six-figure membership business, membership funnel, right? That's what their intent is behind that search is they're trying to grow a membership business. Well, here's my free course of how I went from side hustle to a million dollars. That is answering maybe even more of their question and the odds are of them going ahead and filling out this information is pretty high, right? This actually comes works really well for me. You'll see the exact numbers here in a minute. So again, I only use Thrive Themes. Thrive Themes is what I use. And if you're interested, if you're not on Thrive, let's get you over to Thrive. If you haven't started yet, start straight on WordPress with Thrive. I am an affiliate, full disclosure. If you purchase Thrive through my link, it does help me earn revenue. It helps me keep this channel alive and going. You can just go to milesbeckler.com forward slash Thrive and it'll actually load and you'll, I'll have this pop up in the top right corner of the video. I'll have this pop up, it might be top left, pretty sure it's top right. So you can see once you're here, you wanna just click on get all our products because what this pop-up tool runs under is their leads, their Thrive Leads tool. And then essentially you wanna come here and it is just their membership. You scroll down and you click secure your membership and it's this one right here, 19 bucks a month paid annually. If you toggle this, you can just get it when you pay quarterly. Um, I just bought it annually. Annually. If you're doing uh, websites for clients, get the agency one so you could use it for them as well. Another quick note inside of Thrive, this is in their dashboard itself. This is where you go, um, the, the member dashboard. They have some trainings under the university that show how to use this, but also you can go under product tutorials. And then once this loads, you'll find that they actually have a lot of training on how to use this themselves. The tool we're going to be using is Thrive Leads. They have trainings on all of their different themes. I'm on Rise, by the way. And these are the other tools that I do use. I've, I've taught a lot about architect. Okay, that's enough about it. Now let's show the potential here. Let's show the why. So I'm in my wife's website. Now, this is our biggest site. It generates about 8 million visits per year right now uh, from about 5 million users. So 5 million humans visit this website. And you can see right here, this is the lead group. This is our opt-in that you're looking at here. And the number of impressions is quite impressive. It's 11,932,328 impressions for a total of 178,632 opt-ins. These are subscribers that have been added to our list. It's only one and a half percent conversion, but my wife has a ton of content. Some of it is super specific to our niche. Some of it is not super specific to our niche, but either way, 178,000 conversions or leads from this tool on her website. Uh, that's pretty impressive. And we've only been running this theme on our website for a few years now. Um, the site's like eight, nine years old. So we're in the Miles Beckler website now, which is where I'm running it. And this is where we're going to build it out. And just to show you, 
how it's working out for me so far, um, you can see that my Thrive Leads is generating about 7.75% conversion rate. I've displayed it over 50,000 times and it's generated just about 4,000 conversions. Now you can see, you can add different ones, the scroll mat and the light box, et cetera. I'm gonna show you real quick before we build one here, what it looks like when you split test. So this is the results of a split test. You can see I turned it off here because it went flat line and the green one was winning over the blue line. Right, so essentially this is the control. This is the one that I'm running right now that you saw pop up from the search engine result. And this was my kind of test. I tried some language patterning around the fact that I, um, I had paid off my $50,000 in student loans with this to see if that was more impactful. It wasn't. So we'll just look at how to split test that here in a minute. But first, let's get one set up for you. Again, I wanted to build the picture of why is this important? How well can this actually work for you? And again, obviously giving my uh, affiliate link, milesbecker.com, forward slash thrive because I do enjoy the kickbacks that I receive, but that's not why I'm doing this. So what you want to do is when you're in the lead area, right? I'm inside of the thrive leads area from the thrive dashboard. We go into lead groups. Now I have one running, so I'm going to just name it test. I don't want to override what I've done. So I'm going to be a little bit, um, not as complete with this, but that'll make sense in a second. You can follow along here. So first, I'm just going to name it Miles Test. I'm going to click Add Lead Group. You're going to notice it now has another line. Again, my goal is not to mess with this one. And the order matters. Whichever one is up above, you can see I can kind of click and drag. Whichever one's on top will display first. So if you're fiddling with something and it's not displaying, you might need to move it above one, but you probably don't have one yet. So you can see it says I need to add a new type of opt-in form. You can see the gear wheel. It's not giving me the options to run this yet. And here are the different content overlays that are native within Thrive. And this is one of the reasons I like Thrive is this plugin is actually integrated into the code that matches with the code of the theme and the lead plugin and their other plugins. What that means is they all play nice together. You're not going to get yourself in a situation where one plugin from Neil Patel's is clashing with a plugin from the crap sumo and they all are fighting for resources at similar times. It can slow down your website. It can actually crash your website. That's why my wife and I went natively with the Thrive themes because it's all built in and it's kind of vertically integrated so the code works together. Now, these are the different kinds that you can add. This is an in-content block. The light box, that's what I'm using. That's what we're going to build. The ribbon is the bar up top. The post footer down at the bottom of the post. You can block out the whole screen as a filter. The scroll mat is essentially above the top of the page. You've got a slide in that slides in, widgets, and then there's custom down or PHP insert. So. I think the light boxes work amazing. Uh, as users, we don't love them, but they do work really well. And now I have that set up. You can see it says add a form and I've got the little green plus. So I'm going to click here. This is actually going to get me into the process of creating uh, the plugin itself. You can see that my form will appear. I need to click create form. I'm going to name it. Let's get this thing going here. And now I click the little edit design in order to edit it. And we're going to get inside of the editor, which is exactly like Thrive Architect. So if you're building your opt-in pages with this, you know how this works. This is very familiar to you. I spend a fair amount of time here. This is also how my custom homepage is built is inside of this Thrive Architect. And just give it one quick second to load here. The first thing it's going to ask us to do or ask me to do is to choose my template. And you're going to see that they have a bunch of templates already available. You can obviously run split tests on the different templates, or you can just choose one that works for you. Um, this I'm probably already spending too much time even thinking about it. So really move forward is the key. I think this one kind of matches my, my content and my colors. So I'm just going to choose that template to get started and we're up and running. So, there's a few things we need to do on here. And the first thing is we need to adjust our headline. And you can see I can actually adjust the width and all of those kind of components. And I'm going to say, All right, so I've got some basic text here. Honestly, I would spend a little bit more time working with this to get it down to two lines to minimize how tall this is. But um, honestly, just because this is an example, I'm gonna leave it at that. I'm gonna click here and you've got the change image on the right. And let's see how quick I can find my um, course image. I know it's on here somewhere. Let's see here. Aha, there it is. 
Um, I think I'm just going to choose this one here. It might have a little white border. It's not going to look uh, perfect, unfortunately. I would, again, spend the time to get this dialed in correctly. My goal is to be efficient with this video and show you how quick and easy it is. I'm going to go ahead and make this all bold. There we go. I'm going to center this. So you can see when I when I click on the text, I've got these options up top. I've also got my line width options on the right. I'm going to go ahead and center that. Um, let me go here. There we go. I'll leave it at that. And then we've got the subscribe, right? We can control what these pieces of the puzzle are. And essentially, we're going to edit it on the right side. This is where I'm not going to go through the full process because I don't actually want to set up the form. I don't want to go in, but we're going to, I'm going to show you how easy it is. So we click on the edit form elements. One second here. So the text is available to change. Let's see how big that is. Okay, so this is bigger than I would leave it. Um, again, spend some time to get it to look really neat and tidy. That's not the goal of this. I'm trying to show you how easy it is to get this set up. I would make that one line so it looks nice, clean, and tight. And then here, we're gonna connect form to service. So this is where we tie it into our actual autoresponder. You should have it already integrated since you're using Thrive Themes. I have another video. It's really easy to integrate it. You just go to the main Thrive Leads um, and you follow these processes. You simply choose the form, you choose the page that they're gonna to go to afterwards and you select the fields and that's it. This is the part I'm not going to use specifically because it's a little bit different if you're using Active Campaign or AWeber or whatever you're using. Um, I do recommend AWeber over Active Campaign. I've got a tech guy helping me integrate Active Campaign. I pay him like $500 a month just to help me out because Active Campaign is a little too confusing. So if you're just starting out, I think AWeber is a far superior option. And then we click save on the bottom here and that's it. We have literally created the entire process right here. And now this is a actual kind of, if you went through the process of connecting it to your email autoresponder system, you have created a full on opt-in pop-up that will display over. And then what's really cool is, let me actually, let me go back to the Thrive Leads real quick. I'm gonna show you how we can do split tests, how that, how that it works real quick. So you can see now this is the test one. So I'm operating in this test. It's not letting me run it because I didn't connect it to my API through API to my email autoresponder system. Yours will look more like this one here and you can go ahead and click in the display settings. And this is where you can control where it displays. So this is the display logic and you can see I've got it to display on all of my posts, on my blog index page, on my search pages. I don't have it displaying on my front page, my 404 error page, or any of my pages, right? So my posts, which are what my YouTube content turns into, that's where it displays, not my pages, which is like my about me and my recommended courses, etc. Then you can exclude individual pages as needed. You just come here on the exclusions and you click other and you can actually put in a link of something you want to exclude or you can click specific pages. You can exclude specific categories so you can control what it does and does not display on. And the really cool part here is you can create three different pop-ups if you want, you can actually create a pop-up essentially that would be for me, I could make a Facebook pop-up, right? And it would offer my Facebook case study that is an opt-in I ran for a while. And I could offer that on every single blog post that is about Facebook. And I could turn off the other opt-in pop-ups on the Facebook ones. And then for my regular business ones, I could show opt-in pop-up B. So you can create hyper-targeted pop-ups that match and are relevant to the content that you're creating. So on category A of blog posts, you have a pop-up that offers a content upgrade that is relevant to that thing that post is about. Category B of your content would have a pop-up that's relevant to category B of the content. What that's gonna do is it's gonna increase conversions because when somebody comes through a search engine to your post that's about, let's say, Facebook advertising, and the content upgrade is a free case study on how I generated 14,000 leads 
for 800 bucks on Facebook advertising, that's relevant. So the odds the user is going to take action goes up drastically, right? And that's what you want to do for your business model. Be sure you're kind of thinking of that, about that, but really ultimately you need to get one set up first, maybe run a couple of split tests to dial in your key offer. You're going to get a lot of visibility on this tool. You can see from my wife's with over 11 million displays, we've had a lot of opportunities to split test the headlines and that free offer. That is essentially free opportunities for us to run split tests very effectively. We did build that traffic through hard work, through effort and time in the past blogging. But now that we've built up that kind of residual traffic from those past efforts, we can leverage that traffic, split testing, etc. I'm not actually going to show you split testing on this, how to set up a split test. I'll do that in a future video. It's actually the exact same as my other split test video that I've showed you. Um, it works really, really simple, but ultimately the goal here is to get you running these content overlays on your content because most people who will find you from Google when they search in a how to type keyword phrase, and they find your content that teaches them how to solve that problem. They read it. They're like, wow, I really like this. This person gets me. And then boom, they get the opportunity to join your list, to get your free item. That is a content upgrade. It helps them get more valuable information on that topic that they entered your site on. You will grow your list quickly. This is my fastest list growth mechanism. This is my wife's fastest list growth mechanism. I highly recommend you get this going. If you're not on thrive yet, again, it's milesbeckler.com forward slash thrive. If you've enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up here. I appreciate it. Helps me kind of get the reach out. Uh, if you know somebody who needs to get this going, they're on thrive or they're thinking about thrive, feel free to share this video, embed this video, whatever. If you do embed it, just give me a link back to milesbeckler.com. I appreciate the links back to kind of sort quote your source, where you got that from, where you get the link from, or the, the video embed from, and any questions you have, you can hit me in the comments. I'll answer them as best I can, as I have free time. But until we meet again, Go forth, make progress, get on Thrive, get these content optimization, these conversion optimization mechanisms built into your content because ultimately you're doing all that content marketing work to grow your audience, to grow your reach with the audience, but you need mechanisms that help those people get onto your email list because that's the asset that you own that runs and controls your business. This is the best tool for growing your business. I have tested dozens of different plugins and different themes and different ways to do this. Thrive Themes is by far the fastest, the easiest, and the best that I've personally found, which is why I use it on all of my money sites and why I recommend you use it too. Um, that's it. I thank you very much for your time and I look forward to catching you on the next video.